What? And then I saw that's gonna make this replay I don't know anything about what I'm doing, okay. Do you want the tape? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sanford School as we have a Thursday Night Lights matchup between the Sanford Warriors and Wilmington Friends Quakers. Maggie, tell me what's on the line going into this field hockey matchup. So Sanford is 6-0-2, and, and Wilmington Friends is 6-2, and two, so I think this will be a really close and competitive game tonight. Yeah, and you know, this has been one of the better years for Sanford for field hockey record-wise. They're still undefeated eight games into the season, which is pretty incredible and I've heard they've been ranked fourth in the state as of now which is very uh, great division two obviously but they're really looking towards the tournament and uh, a nice late game like this could be a big matchup game So the crew for tonight's game is myself and Maggie Ross calling the games with Ryan Johnson, Aaron White, Andrew Bond, and Mr. Fritz helping us out behind the booth, along with Liam Sibbers. This is the first of two night games here at Sanford. We also have a boys soccer game coming up next week. Uh, Going to be another close game, so stay tuned for that. And the game uh, will be live in around 45 seconds is when they'll call the teams out for the start. So right now both Sanford and Friends are in their respective huddles and everyone's getting ready for the game. Yeah, this is a time to really set the mood for both teams. They're going over defensive game plans, offensive game plans, really making sure that they have the right state of mind going into this game. Friends is the first to take the field. Sanford seems to really be doing a pep talk here. Hopefully it works. Friends also has a lot to prove as they're six and two. 
uh, which is a very strong record. So both teams have a lot to prove tonight, and this game can really mean a lot towards tournament uh, standings for Division II field hockey. And here comes Sanford taking the field. Is there a way to adjust the zoom speed on this? And here we are, both teams about to line up for the start. It's a brisk 65 degrees out here, not too bad. Temperatures will be dropping. Sunset just a few minutes ago, but as you can see, the lights are lighting the field pretty well. And going out for the start, we have assistant captain and senior Allie Colgan getting ready to hit it back to her teammates. And they are off. Hits it back to Evan Amendum over to number six, Annie Leo. And it looks like a little scrim for the ball, but Sanford comes out and gets it. And there is a call, friend's possession. Yeah, I believe that was for um, a foot hitting the ball. Got it. Thank you, Maggie. And over right now to Ava Lafney. She passes it up. Oh, beautiful move by number 13, Brianna Kong, but loses possession. Friends, bring it up now. It has been called, but it will stay friends possession, but that does halt their momentum for a second. Friends trying to beat number seven. Does not work though. And they pass it through, but waiting for the ball is number 25, Alyssa Marini. Goes through to number 15 for Friends. Friends ball still, and they hit it up. This looks like it will be a hit from the dotted hash line from number 22, uh, Audrey Holvec. And Sanford will be bringing it up right now with number seven, Katie Zabel. Pass it over to Ava Lafferty. Can't get a free, but Sanford keeps possession with Katie Zabel bringing it up again. But it will be friend's possession. Number 12 right now for Friends. That's Rosa Cochran. Friends possession still. Sanford going back on defense here. Hopefully not letting anything through. Friends is really starting to close in on the circle here. And hits it back there. Trying to get something going up through. But Sanford stops it. And we have a little fight for the ball. So that will be a corner. I believe it went off Sanford foot. So friends number seven, Olivia Bolito will be taking the hit. Here we go guys, here we go. Bolito hits it up and they're over at the top. They might have a shot, but it is blocked by Katie Zabel. And that is a great play by Sanford, keeping the ball out of the back of the net. It looks like it hit the foot of a friend's player, but if that's what you have to do to keep the ball out, that's what you have to do. Great hit there, but it gets blocked. You have number nine for Sanford over there, fighting for it, and it's friend's possession. It's it over, thought she had someone free. And that is Sanford possession again. Audrey Holvac hitting that one up. With Annie Christopher taking it up, trying to do a little. Oh, and it's over there. Coast to coast, Annie's trying to take it, but it's out of bounds. It will remain Sanford possession, though. Do you want me to zoom in more? Number six for Sanford, Annie Leo taking the hit here. Is that good? 
Yes or no? Okay. So far, this seems like a pretty even match. Both girls are doing well. Entering the circle, and Friends number two hits it out. Yeah, great play there by number two on Friends, getting the ball out. Looked like Sanford might have uh, had a chance there uh, for a shot on goal, but not to be. And now Friends with a hit up, but it's too much as it goes out the back line. It will be Friends' possession, though. Friends right now, ooh, makes a deke, goes around, gets a pass there, but Ava Lafferty there to hit the ball out. Audrey Holbeck playing stopper there, and nice hit out to the sides. It looks like Ali Colgan might have a play for the ball, but Friends hits it up. Have her waiting there, it's number six, Annie Leo. Running for it is Katie Zabel. That is Sanford possession there. Alyssa Marini. And Katie Zabel looking for something. Minor she's shot. gonna take it. No one's giving pressure, so she's got plenty of time. Over to Evan Amenda, but she can't seem to get it. Evan Amenda runs with the ball instead of driving it off of a foot of a friend's player. Yeah, and Friends has really good defense right now. Sanford has struggled just to get it inside of the key. The circle. And it's Sanford possession right now. Annie Christopher with it. She gets a hit in the middle. Oh, hit the post. Unlucky. Number seven right now shooting. And it doesn't go in for Katie Zabel. Unlucky for Sanford. It seemed like they might hit Twine at the back of the net, but not meant to be. This will be Sanford's ball hitting in, Katie Zobel. She will probably drive it in. Nope, starts with a dribble. And immediately stop, but she gets it right back. And friend's possession here, driving up is number three. Stay friend's possession. Oh, no, it was not an advantage, so it goes back. Still friend's ball, but they were not able to play through it. Hitting it right now is number 12 for friends. Looking for something. Big hit, but stopped by Katie Zabel. Tries to get a through ball there, and she does. Number 26, Allie Colgan. Brianna Kung coming in, trying to get a hit at it. Oh, a nice play by number 35 for Friends. Number 15 coming up, goes to the middle, but denied. Cameron just did a very good job of putting her stick down, and Friends could not get it past her there. And that is Sanford possession. Looked like Friends was closing in on the goal there, but yeah, like you said, great job by number 17, Cameron Smith, really getting her stick down and blocking that through ball. So, so shoot a little low. So that will be another corner for Wilmington Friends. Not sure what the hold up here. It looks like ref is talking to number three for Friends. Maybe for some misconduct. Either way, a corner for Friends, as you said. Uh, good chance for them to try to get a shot off. But you know, Sanford's defense is strong. We'll see what they can do.
Number seven, Olivia Bolito will be taking the shot again. Passes it up and might get a shot off, but it is denied off of number 20, Evan Amendum. She's going to feel that one. Shooking up a little bit. Another corner for friends, but you know, you got to do what you got to do to make a play, and great play. <laughs> And out of the back there, lucky, or not lucky, great defense by Sanford. Where's the ball? I think our midfield is doing a very good job playing defensively tonight. Yeah, Sanford's definitely seem to uh, have the ball more on their side of the field, but they're doing a great job of handling it. You think they're gonna stay uh, super defensive, or do you think they're gonna start to get aggressive as the game goes on? Only time will tell, but I think probably, hopefully, become more offensive if the ball will be on the other half. But for now, I think defense is our strong point, and it's certainly going well. Right, you are, and possession up here by midfield as Brianna Kung gets a hit on the ball, but it was stopped. Katie Zabel making a play there. Call there by the ref. Green flag. Either way, it, it looks like it may be a power play, so to speak. Uh, either way, number seven for friends just went off the field. Number 20, Evan Amendum, takes control of the ball very smoothly here, passing it across the field to her teammate, number six, Annie Leo. A great play there, uh, faking the pass to the outside, going to the inside, opening up the field. And it doesn't seem to work there specifically, but it's still got the ball on friend's half, and they're going to have to fight to get it over. It will remain friend's possession here. Uh, driving up, there is 19 minutes and 11 seconds left in the half, so plenty of time for either side to take a stance. Friends doing a good job of keeping their feet out of the ball. Yeah, that definitely can't be easy. Alyssa Marini playing great defense on number 35 for Friends. And Ava Lafferty fighting for the ball up. Katie Zabel hitting it out. Risky play there by Sanford, but it will be another corner for friends. Let's see if they can capitalize on the many corners. So in the goal for Sanford, we have number seven, Katie Zobel. We have number 20, Evan Abendum. Uh, number and number seven, six, Annie Leo. And then number 17, Cameron Smith. Sneaks through the defense, but no luck there for friends. That will be Sanford possession. Number seven, Katie Zabel has it. Oh, but it'll go to Audrey Holbeck. She's really been playing the point position back here, uh, playing the center defender. Trying to decide where to go with it. Not sure what happened there. Seemed to not get full contact. But a uh, good job right there by Brianna Kung trying to force a play there. Bringing up is... Wilmington friends, great job by Audrey Holbeck getting on the ball, just trying to hit it out at that point. And Sanford possession here. They're going to hit it to Annie Leo, who's going to try to figure out uh, her best bet. She takes a dribble and then hits it up. That was a nice clear, but went out of bounds. Not sure what they're trying to do there. I 
And another call there on Friends. And it's a live ball. Evan Amendum trying to take advantage of that. She looks over to Katie Zabel, who hits it up. And Brianna Kung is there waiting. Uh, got a little opportunity for a cross here. She has possession still, but it gets blocked by a Friends defender. However, Katie Zabel is there waiting for it. Brianna Kung again. And they're really taking their time, not trying to force anything to the center. Had a beautiful push across the field there. And Alyssa Marini taking it up now, though it goes out of bounds. So Sanford's starting to play a little bit more aggressive, and they're definitely getting their opportunities, though. France has definitely led the offensive battle so far. Friends possession, but Sanford is playing uh, almost man to man here, just marking up and really being aggressive, and it works as number 20, Evan Amendum gets it, and she gets a breakaway. Beautiful move. She gets a hit off, but she gets it again as it's blocked. And it looks like a foul there. What do you think that was, Maggie? Yeah, I believe that's going to be a corner for Sanford. No, in from the 16 yard line. Out to Annie Leo right now. She takes a hit at it. Ooh, just wide. So lining up at the center is uh, the point person, Evan Amendum, tries to deke around her, hits it out to Annie Leo, who has some time and some space. See what she does. Just tries to hit it to the center. Tell you what, Friends defense has done a great job at really, uh, you know, having a stronghold around their net there. Sanford's not able to get any shot on the inside. much of friends defense but it's it's been strong so far yeah with about 14 minutes and 20 seconds left we're still tied at 0-0 so no one has made it onto the board first which you know if you're Sanford there's definitely worse things but I think they really got to sharpen up their offense uh, as they're playing great defense and making great opportunities just friends has always been there uh, what do you think Sanford should try to do later on in the half to maybe get some more opportunities? I think Sanford should continue playing strong defensively, but also work on driving and pushing the ball up the field using the wings. Yeah, and Ali Colgan taking it right now. She's got some space, passes out to Annie Leo. It's a 3v5 right now, but the speed they have on the fast break, Annie Leo just non-stop and they oh man call against Sanford there looks like it hit their foot unlucky but what can you tell me about that play it was very close um I think quick feet would be important and but yeah that was that was a very good play right you are and friends comes up with the ball here and has number 14 open on the sideline here but Alyssa Marini playing lockdown defense here, not letting her inside, keeping the stick down. Great block by Alyssa Marini. And she goes for the hit out. Nice hit, as that. Alyssa has done a great job with channeling her offensive players against her this game. She's hitting a lot of balls up the field. How far back? That'll be another offensive corner for Friends. This time it looks like number 14, Ariel Shueki, will be taking or just passing the ball to teammate number seven, Olivia Bolito. Yeah, and Olivia Bolito's taking most of their passes out from the corners. Looks like Friends might get a shot. Blocked or no, just went out the back. Uh, good try by friends, but once again, unsuccessful on the corner. Three, four, four. Find somebody, five yards. 
Chana, where's the ball? Never mind, never mind. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a match between the Sanford Warriors and the Wilmington Friends Quakers. Uh, not at 0-0 with 11 minutes left in the first half. Uh, Wilmington Friends in blue here, Sanford in white. And great play by number 20, Edmund Amendum stopping the play and the crowd seems to be roaring there. Zero zero so far, what can you tell us about the game so far, Maggie? Stanford has been doing a really good job with their defense. Um, here another corner. They've had how many corners? I don't know, five or six now and Friends still not scored so we're, our corners are definitely a strong point defensively. Yeah, for those of you just joining us, I'm Charlie Sakura. To the right of me in the booth is Maggie Ross. Helping out right now in production, we have Andrew Bond, Ryan Johnson, Aaron White, Jonathan Fritz, and Mr. Fritz. Great player to play defensively by Sanford again. Timeout called by Coach Brooking for Sanford. Charlie, watch out. It zooms really slow. Coming out of the timeouts with 10 minutes and 19 seconds left. Sanford has possession here. And a defensive battle on both sides so far. As of now, Sanford is definitely winning the defensive battle. You can tell they work on that a lot in practice. They're just doing a great job not letting anything through as Friends has had six corners so far. Friends moving up here. Nice stop by Annie Leo. Brianna Kung's in there too, and Colin Sanford there. I'm not sure what it was. Hard and long drive in, but one out. So Sanford will be hitting the ball. Nevin Amendum telling him to go wide there. Katie Zabel with a nice through pass. And here comes Brianna Kung running up for the ball. Ava Lafferty playing tight defense on the ball there. Brianna Kung gets her stick on it. And Allie Colgan driving up through the middle, looking almost trying to go coast to coast there. Sanford possession. Number 20, Evan Amendum, will self-start. And a little fight for the ball there is number nine, Annie Christopher, tries to get it. Sanford possession here. 
So what do you think they should do if they try to attack the uh, attack friends here? Because it's really not working going through the middle. What are some things you think they should work on? I think going up the sides would be good for them. They've had a lot of success on the far side of the field. Um, getting into the circle a few times going up that way. So I think just keeping it out of the center and dribbling ahead will help. I agree. Friends here with possession. I'll tell you what, though. 0-0 zero, zero right now. And Sanford's very lucky Friends does not have a lead there. With five corners, they've had multiple opportunities for shots, but their defense has just been phenomenal. I agree, and we have... Eight minutes left in this half, still 0-0. Zero, zero. And plays it outside to Katie Zabel, who takes it up herself, goes out of bounds. It will be friend's possession. Oh, great move there by number 20, Evan Amenda. He takes it up herself, loses possession at the top of the box. So the Sanford will be rewarded their first corner of the day, and let's hope they can capitalize here. Looks like number 13, Brianna Kung, will be taking the shot in to most likely number seven, Katie Zabel. We'll see what they do here with their strategy. Going across, number 20, Evan Amendum. And Andy nice Leo with in. the shot. So close. And it's a fight for the rebound there. It will be Sanford possession. Oh, so another corner there from Sanford. And, you know, definitely interesting play. Uh, it almost worked out for them. I think maybe uh, they should have shot a little sooner. But either way, they... Get the opportunity, oh, not a corner, but Sanford possession. So they get another opportunity, which is key. I think Sanford's been doing well with the free hits. Evan Amendum has been self-starting most of them, dribbling into the circle. Now with possession, moving down the field. Oh, and changed back with number six, Annie Leo. Out of bounds. Looks like Friends will take this one back in. Out of bounds again for Wilmington Friends. From friends, Katrina Winfield takes the ball down the field, going very fast. Oh, and there's number 20, Evan Amendum, getting possession again. Yeah, great play there by Sanford. Sanford's being much more aggressive out of the timeout. Friends has the ball back in lots of time. Oh, no, call there. So friends will have possession a little farther up at the top of the circle. Either way, nice hit by friends. And a fight for the ball, and it goes to Sanford. And they're just going to play it live. Up to Ali Colgan, or oh, tries to make a play on it. Ever since that timeout, it seems like they've been playing much more offensively, and they're looking really good. Um, it'll be exciting to see who gets a point on the board first, but I think it could be Sanford here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just another opportunity up there. And eventually, if you hit it up enough times, it will go through, which is key. And a nice Close drive the by circle. Sanford there. Ooh. Dangerous play by Friends, and it looks like it'll be a corner attempt for Sanford. Very dangerous, passing it back next to the goalie there. I'm not sure what Friends was trying to do, but it results in a Sanford corner. And hitting it out again is Brianna Kung. This time she's taking it from the left side of the goal. Uh, the previous time she took it from the right side. Wonder different play here tries to get something out of nothing uh, they weren't able to get a shot off 
another corner. We'll see which side they hit it in on this time. And that's fine. If you keep getting corners, you're eventually going to get a good shot off. Uh, so, I mean, they could do this all day. And really, they're very aggressive here. Once again, Brianna Kung hitting it out. Uh, not sure who she'll hit it to. Tell you what, Annie Leo looked like she was lining up for a shot. It just goes out of her reach. But staying aggressive is Sanford. And that'll be Friends' possession. No. Sanford possession there, but at the top of the circle as it went out of Friends, out of the back. Sanford's been doing good getting these corners. I think that's a great approach to getting a goal. Much easier to get one off of corners. Um, maybe hitting it into the feet of a Wilmington Friends player again in the circle would be beneficial. You're right, and with only two minutes and 45 seconds uh, left in the half here, both teams really trying to get on the board. Number seven, Katie Zobel taking it down the middle. A little bit of stick contact here, but it's going well. Out called by the Wilmington Friends team with two minutes and 24 seconds left. So we'll see. I'm guessing they'll be talking about defensive strategy and how they can bring it up the field again. But right now, Sanford is keeping the ball on the offensive side. So it's going well. Coming out of the timeouts, it is 0-0. Sanford possession, two minutes and 24 seconds left in the half here. Tell you what, Sanford has been super aggressive, really trying to get on the board before half, which just, I can't understate how big that is because if you're going into halftime with a 1-0 lead, just, it's incredible the momentum that you have. My apologies, friend's possession here. Hits it up and trying to hit it out of the air. Not easy with the lights all over the ball. Over Sanford is right on it. Audrey Holbeck with the ball just hits it out. But Annie Leo's right there. Great block by Friends though. And Annie Leo again. And that's Friends possession. Two minutes left in the half here. Either team trying to get on board first. Cameron Smith with the ball hurrying up. Oh, but it's still friend's possession. However, this is Sanford's specialty. Their defense is just amazing through the roof. Friend's possession gets it to Annie Leo, who hits it up to Annie Christopher, who's got a little breakaway here, trying to go coast to coast. And Ali Colgan comes running up, but it goes right to Friend's. But Great clear with a minute and 20 seconds left in the half. And Sanford just playing super aggressive. Annie Christopher running up for, towards the ball. She might have an opportunity for a cross. Right to Allie Colgate. Oh, block, knock. Sanford possession, sorry. That's going to be a corner. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Sanford will get a corner here. That was a good call by the refs. Um, and we got 56 seconds left. 54 running clock here, so Sanford's got to hurry up if they want to get a shot off. This is their opportunity to get on board. Right to Katie Zabel. Is she going to shoot? She passes it. Uh, tries to box her out. That's going to be a call. 40 seconds left here in the half. And Friends tries to make one last push. And they have a pass here. Alyssa Marini playing defense on number 35. She's really trying to take her out with 30 seconds left here. 
Tell you what, coast to coast with 35. Once again, Ellis Marini is doing, number 27 is doing a very good job with channeling. Only 10 seconds left here in the half. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of the half. Zero, zero. Tied game here, although Sanford really picking up the pace in the second half. What are some things you saw in the first half? Um, Sanford has been playing really, really well defensively. I think their midfield is really good at getting back and helping the defense. We saw after the Sanford timeout some good offensive plays and some corners, and hopefully we will continue that. I think Wilmington Friends is playing really aggressive, so it's looking like a good game. Yes, and that will be it for uh, now for the end of the first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. We will see you again in just a few minutes. The best part of mindfulness at Sanford is that we're introducing practice that is allowing the Sanford experience to go from really good to exceptional. You can just practice it any time by closing your eyes and just breathing and just thinking about what's happening right now. Being in the present, thinking in the present. I think it's where you look calm and relaxed. Super busy times, everybody's kind of um, always looking to the next thing instead of looking at the present moment. Mindfulness is uh, its really a deep breath for the brain. It allows you to take a moment in the present to not stress about what's going to happen in the future. Sometimes after Oasis we do butterfly blinking. Using these techniques helps oftentimes when we come back in from recess. The children are all geared up and they're really excited and they've been playing and they've been out having fun and running around and now it's time to get busy on your work. You're able to focus, be calm, and be ready for whatever challenge you have to take. Our hope with mindfulness is that students on campus are able to use it as they would use any strategy and that may look different for different students and we hope that it looks different because we really want each student to find their own path and their own success and their own talents and explore those in a way that feels meaningful to them. We have a few things. We do this thing called the body scan where you like really help you focus on the now, like you focus on different parts of your body. So we lie on the ground and um, we have a stuffed animal or we have our hands on our stomach and um, we just breathe. And then there's also take five, which you hold up your hand and then each time you breathe in, you go like up and when you breathe and you inhale and then when you exhale, you go down. Bunny breathing. For presentations, I will you know, see some students actually try to maybe do some of their own mindfulness. Um, they certainly don't advertise it, but I see them when they you know, take uh, 10 seconds before presenting to sort of close their eyes, take a deep breath, reopen, and you know, they might not realize that what they're doing is a mindfulness practice, but I think that a lot of that stems from you know, just being exposed to it over the year. Before we went on stage for the third 
third and fourth grade concert, I took a mindful moment and every time before I pray and every time before I go to bed. This is a topic that, because th this is very much in line with who we are as a school, uh, you're seeing it already take root. Sanford's a wonderful place and having that time teaching. Getting ready for the second half. Hopefully we can get a score going here. Sanford will be the first to take the field and get in their positions. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Charlie Sikora. Joining me in the booth is Maggie Ross. Also helping out in the booth here, we have Andrew Bond, Ryan Johnson, Aaron White, Jack Taylor, and Jonathan Fritz. So, so far, 0-0, zero, zero, but you got a 30-minute second half, and both teams are pumped. Uh, this could go into overtime, though, and, you know, there's worse things for a Thursday Night Lights game. So definitely a nice primetime matchup here. Like friends, we'll start the session here. Number three, driving it up the field, Katarina Winfield. Looks like that'll be out on Sanford. Wilmington Friends pushing in. Number three from Wilmington Friends. All right, and Sanford and possession here. Move it up with the ball. Annie, Christopher on the side. Nice hit to Ali Colgan. And then amend them up to Annie Christopher. She has it in the corner. Going for a cross, possibly. Over to Annie Leo. Cameron Smith, good at getting her stick down and persisting. Looks like they will keep possession. I believe that was in number five, Lucy Wood's feet. So what happened there was number five from Wilmington Friends was not five yards away when number six, Annie Leo, took the shot. So she was called again and given a warning from the ref. Yeah, and Annie Leo with the ball right now. Nice block by number five, but loses it. And that will stay Sam for possession with Annie Christopher taking it up. Ooh, gets it through to Ali Colgan. Nice play there by Annie Leo. I'll tell you, beautiful play by Friends, number 35, but just stopped there by Audrey Holbeck, number 22. And we have Brianna Kong pushing it up right now. I'll tell you what, the hype is on Sanford's side here. Over to Ali Colgan, just can't get it through, but here comes Evan Amendem. To Annie Christopher, oh, just to the left of the net. Beautiful shot on goal, so close. Beautiful opportunity by Sanford, and you know, that goes in five, six times out of ten, so just unlucky. Here comes Brianna Kung again. And she started that last play, and she's looking to make another play here. But that will be Friends' possession. I like the aggressiveness, now. 
though. Sanford coming out with 150% here. I agree, Charlie. The girls are doing very well offensively here. And that ball has been stopped by Annie Leo. Oh, just misses the ball. Unlucky. Tight defense here. Over to Cameron Smith. Nice job keeping the ball on the ground to Allie Colgan. She has it up and stopped. But that will be a corner in favor of Sanford. Great aggressiveness. Beautiful play by Allie Colgan. Looks like number 13, Brianna Kung, will be hitting the ball in. This it will be interesting to see if she hits it out straight or crosses to Annie Leo at center. Out to Evan Amenda, back to Brianna Kung. Oh, just misses the ball, unlucky. Oh, goes through. Bounces over, but Audrey Hovek there playing stopper. Just going to try to get the ball out at all costs, but gets it at Annie Leo up to Annie Christopher. Great job keeping it inbounds. And she's running up with number three, nine from Friends right on her side, but Annie just running up there. Out on Sanford there. Question will call. Ali Colgan getting the interception back to Annie Leo. <gasps> oh, sorry, Annie Christopher over to Ali Colgan. <sighs> Unable to finish. Looks like friends will take it out of the circle this time. Oh, and back with number six, Annie Leo. That's great job by Annie Christopher on the last play. Really give and go with Ali Colgan. Going over to the corner right now and hitting it in, but blocked by number five. That will be. Sanford possession though. I'll be number 20, Evan Amendum's ball right at the hash here. Looks like Evan will dribble this one in. Kind of loses possession, tries to fight it back. Number nine for friends, just gonna try to hit it up. And it goes along the sideline out of bounds here. Annie Leo looking to hit it in, surveying her options. Hits it up, nice through ball, oh, right off of the Annie Christopher. Unlucky. Uh, quick TV timeout right now as they're looking for a ball. Uh, they have one right now, play is resuming just now. 24 minutes left in the half. Annie Christopher playing tight defense up the sideline. Great play by Annie Leo. And pass it to the middle to number eight. Ava Lafferty. Beautiful hit across by Katie Zabel, just a little bit to the left. That was number seven. Yeah, and good job finding Ava Lafferty on the side there. Defender anticipated the play, but good job using the entire field to your advantage. And you know, you have 23 minutes and 40 seconds left here, so. Plenty of time, plus possible overtime, but got to tell you, so far, Sanford is owning the half here. Smart switching Tries to get it there. over. Great job, and Annie Christopher up now with the mini breakaway. Great pass over to Allie Colgan. And that's going to be a push on Allie Colgan, but good aggressiveness. Great job by Cameron Smith. And Cameron Smith keeping that stick down and pushing the ball forward. She's doing a great job this game defensively. Sanford possession. Annie Leo, number six, with the ball. It's kind of a whiff, but she gets it back. Good job following up with the pass. Through to Ali Kogan, back to Annie Leo. Good through ball. Brianna Kong not able to get there in time. Evan Amendum over to, she's taking it herself here. Right to Annie Christopher, great pass. Oh, and steps out of bounds there. Sanford's being really aggressive. You can see they already have their sticks back on the ground. They're 
prepared to get this ball and hit it right back in the circle. Bit of a high ball, but Brianna Kung gets it, number three. Looks like that'll be a corner. Good call by the ref there. Looks like she's digging for a card. Oh, there we go. There'll be a green card on number three. Number three for friends jogging off the field here. Hitting it in is Brianna Kung again. She's done a great job of really hitting it anywhere, making the defense questionable. And waiting for play to commence. Anticipating it. Brianna Kung out to Ali Kogan who passes it over to Evan Amendum who gets a shot off. Off to Brianna Kung. Oh, great goalie play. Not able to hit it. Back to Katie Zabel. Out. Any Leo, over. Doing a great job keeping it in the circle. And that is safe for possession. Great job, plays it up. Oh. Ball goes out of bounds here. Six Annie Leo will take the ball again. Dribbling in great push. Blocked by number nine from friends. <laughs> great play by number nine, jumping the stick. Called out on, on Wilmington Friends and Sanford will take the ball. Annie Leo looking for her options. Hits it right down across. Number seven, Olivia Bolito from Wilmington Friends gets the ball at first. It's like a little bit of pushing. Wilmington Friends will remain with possession. Hard drive off of that ball. That was called on a dangerous hit. So that ball will be coming down from Sanford. Um, that's usually called when the ball comes above the waist height. Right you are. Evan Amendum here, passing it over to Annie Leo, looking for Annie Christopher. She's gonna take it herself. Foul on number six. She's a little confused on what the play was. great offensively, being really aggressive in the second half, but Wilmington Friends' defense has been very strong. Looks like the ball may have hit off of the rounded side of a Sanford stick. Ooh, whiff there by Friends. Uh, but number five gets it. Number three, sorry. Number nine right now, trying to make a play up the sidelines. She gets a pass off. And number three trying to get there, but Sanford's Cameron Smith, number 17, gets there in time. Although it's still friend's possession, number three hits it up. No one's back for Sanford. However, it'll go out the back. That will be Sanford possession. Audrey Holvec hitting the uh, shot, or er, hitting the pass here. Uh, playing the point, but it goes right to a friend's defense or offender. Been good, getting the ball right back out again. They're taking it wide. Number seven, Olivia Bolito from Wilming Friends hits it in, but straight to Annie Christopher, number two. She'll carry it down. Beautiful sideline run there. Wow, hits right across. Hits it inside to Ali Colgan. Doesn't get there in time. Coming right out towards us. And Leo gets there. Beautiful drag out. Cameron Smith again, ready with her stick down. She'll take that in. Or Annie Leo will take that in for her there. Off the foot of Ali Colgan, no call though. Brianna Kung doing a great job there with the aggressiveness. Doesn't get it into the back of the net though. Just phenomenal job. 
crowd was really cheering her on for that one. We have a we have a great turnout here for the Sanford's first night game this season. Next Thursday we will have boys soccer. Yeah, another Thursday night lights matchup here. With 17 minutes and 40 seconds left here in the half, it is still knotted at 0-0. No team able to get points on the board. However, Sanford has definitely just owned this second half, and you know, you got to think it's a matter of time before something gets through and hits Twine. And Brianna Kong taking a far shot there. And tell you what, that almost went in. Yeah, that was a close one. She's uh, definitely a power hitter in this game. Some good drives and good pushes straight to goal, but a little wide. Number 21 comes in for Wilmington Friends. Off the foot, and it knocks her down. That's number six. That's a tackle, and Evan Amendum's going to play that ball immediately right to Annie Christopher. Out on Wilmington Friends, Sanford will take the ball. Annie Leo, number six, doing what she does best, getting it up the field. Telling her to move the ball up more. The ball never went in, they're saying, so. Great defensive play by number 14. Oh, beautiful move. That was a beautiful a dodge there, a circle by Annie Leo. Oh, and Allie Colgan makes her and gets a shot off on goal, but great save. Fifteen minutes and 40 seconds left here in the game. Still 0-0. Evan Amendum up top. No one on the side there, so she's just going to take it. Tr tries to hit it in. Here comes Cameron Smith coming up. Nice. Worm burner on the ground, rolling ball there. Go. Or hitting it in from the dotted half there. You have to dribble five yards, and Annie Leo did a good job remembering to do that there. Um, often that's called when they don't do that. Great job by Cameron Smith boxing out number 14 and making a play on the ball. Not easy to do. And Brianna Kung and Allie Colgan fighting for the ball, but it's Wilmington Friends possession. She whiffs. Is that not a high stick? Guess not. Our rules analyst Maggie's telling me that is not a high stick call. Sanford will change sides here. Crossing over to Katie Zobel. Oh, a bit of a shove from Wilmington Friends there. Friends possession still. Yeah, it definitely looks like looked like she shoved Katie Zobel, but nothing called. And it's Sanford possession now. Oh no, sorry, is that it's a corner? So Sanford defending their first corner of the half with 13 minutes and 50 seconds left. We got the fans over there cheering them on. Uh, it's nice to see such a large turnout. Sanford's defense will be able to keep this one out. Looks like it will. Beautiful kick by the goalie out. Great save by goalie Catherine Blue Dennis. Sadly, that will lead to another corner, but I think the girls can manage to get it out again. Yeah, and you know, plenty of time left in this game for either team to get a couple points on the board. And another save by Catherine Glue Dennis. Friends has possession. Sanford struggling to get it out, and that's a goal! Catherine Grudenis seemed to come out and lose track of the ball. A lot of time left, though, with 13 minutes. 
seem to be number 12 with the goal. Or sorry, number 13. 33, man, I'm wrong here. Uh, Looks like Coach Ann Brooking will call another timeout for the girls. Hopefully we can pull this one out. As Charlie was saying, 13 minutes left. We can still definitely score here and continue with strong defensive playing. Yeah, and that's definitely deflating to a Sanford team, you know, seeing friends just march down and score there. But I wouldn't count the Sanford team out. They're undefeated for a reason. reason. They're highly talented. They've come behind before in their uh, homecoming game. They scored three goals in the second half just to win. Yeah, so I would not count this Sanford team out just yet. 13 minutes, that's a lot of time. Not only that, they've been dominant. They might switch up some schemes here. Highly talented. And, you know, this friends team is highly talented, talented too. So this game can go any way, but just can't overstress that there is a ton of time on the board. Sanford Warriors getting back on the field, ready to score, ready to defend their goal. Doing a good job. Wilming and friends will regain the field. They have a lot of boost of confidence and cheering from their student section. Allie Colgan starting off with the ball here. And this friends team seems pumped up, but this Sanford team seems determined too. You know, they don't they don't want to lose their undefeated streak. Uh, they've done amazing things all season, so anything can happen. We do have a substitution. Number 21 has come in for Sanford. That's Emerson Cuff. Looks like that will be called on a high stick, a little close to Sanford's number 21 there. Any Leo going to push it up. And I wouldn't be surprised if Sanford just marched down and got a quick goal, you know. Just a lot of momentum is with friends right now, but Sanford just seems determined. 21, Emerson Cuff. Over to Ava Lafferty, gets a shot in and... Good job Evan number Amendum. 20, Evan Amendum getting her stick on it. Going into the feet of number 21, Emerson Cuff. That'll be taken by number seven, going to friends Olivia Bolito. Brianna Kung going up here. Over to Ava Lafferty. Who gets a hit on it, but there we go. Sanford possession here, and they're being urged to play aggressively, and I agree. You know, you, you almost have a fast break opportunity there. You got to take advantage of it. Out to Brianna Kong. Friends possession. However, I think Sanford is doing a very good job right now, staying aggressive and pushing in on the circle, trying to get another, trying to get a goal. Plenty of time left, 10 minutes and 45 seconds. Nice hit there by Katie Zobel, but goes out the back. No one's there waiting for it, and you know, Sanford's playing a little sloppy here on offense. They gotta set up a formation and try to play it to the outsides and then play it inside. They're just kinda hitting it wherever. And also, they're not really going for the rebound. You know, when a defender hits the ball, they're not hustling to get the rebound to one of their shots. And obviously, you know, it's easy for us to say this, from the outside and they're playing really hard so they could try to score here and hopefully they do. Looks like that call was overturned and Sanford will be taking the ball in. Good opportunity to self start. Number 20 Evan Amendum, also captain. Co-captain with um, 
number 26, Allie Colgan. They're uh, great team leaders. Annie Leo has been playing very strong defensively and offensively, really pushing the ball into the circle and trying to keep it on the other half. Yeah, great job. Brianna Cohn pushing up here over to Ava Lafferty. Gets a chance for a break. Hits it inside, then no one's there. And Brianna Kung has it. Some confusion. And that's a corner for Sanford. This is a great opportunity for them to score here with nine minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock. Running clock. So they got to hustle, but they really got to take advantage of this corner. You don't know how many opportunities you're going to get. Yeah, great call by the ref. That one was hard to see, but glad they got that corner here. Much needed. Brianna taking it in as usual. Crossing. Out to Annie Leo, takes a shot to the middle, blocked by Allie Colgan accidentally, it looks like. That's friend's possession. Eight minutes and 45 seconds left here. Great job by number six, but even better job by Enda Momentum. Momentum going for the ball. <laughs> Ali Kogan playing it to the middle, and it's off. Ball is out and just not able to connect. Katie Zaba with the ball. And they're calling that friend's possession. I don't know about that. That looks like a shove. A little bit of an uproar from the Sanford student section there. But never fear, Audrey Holbeck and her strong defense is coming back. Looks like that was a call. Call on number 20, Evan Amendem, for um, hitting from the back. Any Leo kind of juggling it there. Same for possession, though. Telling her to move it back. This is a great chance to capitalize on possession. And hitting it to the inside towards Ali Colgan. That's it for possession. Out to Annie Leo. Annie Christopher out here. Six minutes and 22 seconds left. Annie Christopher being careful here, waiting until she can push through. That ball will be out on Wilmington Friends. Annie Leo gets it here. Beautiful drive. And that is Friends' possession. Five minutes and 50 seconds left here. Friends up 1-0. Still anyone's game now. And Evan Amendum taking it up herself. Hits it into the center. And Sanford just crashing the ball there. And that's out to Ava Lafferty. Get the shot off. Oh, but not enough. They're calling that a corner in favor of Sanford, though. I think that was a very good call there. Not enough to be a stroke that uh, wasn't possible to have a goal there, but definitely worthy of a corner. And Sanford here, full court press, so to speak, putting almost all of their players up top, except Cameron Smith and Audrey Hovac. Five minutes and 10 seconds left here, and we're going to have a nail biter. Brianna Kung hitting it in. Evan Amendum 
out to Annie Leo. She's gonna rip a shot. Oh, and just missed off of Ali Colgan. Gets a nice shot, and it's still Sam for possession here. Great save by the keeper for friends. Yeah, however, out on the goalie, so we do have the ball. Looks like number 20, Evan Amendum will be taking it in at the 25. Four minutes and 35 seconds left here, so Sanford really pushing up, and you know, they've had a lot of opportunities. Unlucky, hits it through. And Brianna Cunning hits it, oh, not enough. Four minutes and 21 seconds left here. Friends up 1-0 after getting a goal with about 15 minutes left in the game. Looks like number 12 got a yellow card. And now the Wilmington Friends coach is calling a timeout with four minutes and 21 seconds left. It Looks like the girls still have an opportunity to score, playing very aggressively. Right you are, and you know, like you said, with four minutes and 21 seconds left, it's anyone's game, but this is the time where you see what makes a team great, you know? You have the X factors that some teams have where they can just turn it on when they need to, and so far this season, Sanford's had that, and hopefully you see the X factor again here where they can just, they can turn it on, they can make the play. And that's what Sanford's hoping is happening here as they meet in the timeout and they really, they reflect on what's happening and hopefully they can get a goal in the coming minutes. And the action is coming back here with 421 left in the game. Friends up 1-0. Though this Sanford team is determined and energized. Hopefully they can make a difference and get a goal here. Also, this Sanford crowd is hyped. Looking for a win with this Thursday night lights matchup. field again they have possession but Stanford girls are already in place and their sticks are down they are ready to close in on this ball and hopefully score well spoken Maggie and they definitely they look determined that's one way to put it Evan Amendum here. She's gonna take it up herself. Nice hit. Annie Christopher, and that's Sam for possession. She's just gonna play it. Annie Christopher taking it to herself to Emerson. And Allie Colgan gets it. She gets it. That's a goal Beautiful for Sam. Goal. Beautiful goal. That's gonna be Allie Colgan. And we're tied at 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Beautiful goal by Captain Allie Colgan with three minutes and 47 seconds left. The Sanford crowd is going wild. And that's why she's captain. And like we said, it's the X Factor, making a difference when you have to. This game is tough. Yes. As you see on the instant replay right now, beautiful goal. Replay is new to the stream team. We had our first instant replays last week at the boys' soccer game. And they're working out great for the stream team. And the momentum has just swung. And you know, with three minutes and 47 seconds left, just about anything can happen here. Turning into a very exciting game here right at the end. It's been a very close game throughout. Offensive and defensive is super strong from both teams. 
Right you are, and look, Ali Kogan is just energized after that goal. And that's Sanford possession again. Three minutes and 30 seconds. They're determined to get another one. Look at Ali Kogan just pushing it down, but that's a corner. And look at this Sanford team. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in this matchup. 1-1. One, one. And coach telling them to just calm down and play defensive. They don't want to risk anything. Interesting choice. Wilmington Friends will have number seven, Olivia Bolito, not inside the net. She will be outside. She's um, she's the fly. So when you see number 13, Brianna Kung, make contact with the ball, she will go running straight out to whoever it's hit to. Out to Brianna Kung again, who plays it inside, just outside the reach of Evan Amendum. And this Sanford team is running back on defense. Great through ball by number 24 for Friends, up to 21. Though Sanford is able to get back in time. Two minutes and 40 seconds left here in the game. A lot can happen in two minutes. Looks like Wilmington Friends will keep possession on that ball, but Sanford has their sticks down once again. They're playing very strong defensively. Yes, every player on this Sanford team is back on defense, which is the first time that's happened all game, and obviously you don't want to let it go in now with only two minutes and 10 seconds left. And Friends bringing this to the top of the key. But great play, bring it out. Although that's gonna be friend's possession. Not a corner though, that is important. Out to number two. Oh, blocked by Brianna Kung. That one definitely stung, but great job by Brianna making the play there. As her teammates go around, as she definitely felt that one. That was definitely a hard drive to take there. Looks like she's down and the trainers are coming out. And not only does she get back up, but she's staying in the game. That is dedication. Oh, she is required to come out though uh, due to the fact that she did go down, but I'd expect her to go back in very shortly. Number seven, Katie Zabel will be taking the ball. Oh, my bad, number 20, Evan Amendum. Great block there by number three. And a deke, another deke. She just got around about four people. And they're calling that a corner for friends. A minute and 30 seconds left here. Can a team make a difference before overtime? We will see. Luckily, Sanford has had many practice with these corners with Wilmington Friends, and most of them have worked out great. And that goes out of the back as Sanford has possession here. Timeout. There is no timeout called. I apologize. As they were looking for the ball. A minute and three seconds left here. Tied 1-1. One, one. Sanford possession. I think they got to focus on just clearing it. They thought it went out of bounds. Great job by Allie Colgan here. Number three is, number seven is down on the ground for friends. Katie Zabo. And that's a corner for friends, or Sanford, I apologize. 29 seconds left. Number seven is down for friends though. Looks like Sanford just decided on what play they'll use here. Um, coach is definitely revving them up for this. They're uh, trying to get this in with 30 seconds left.
29 seconds left in the match here. Tied 1-1. Sam for possession with the corner. And I'll tell you what, they really want to go here. They are determined. Sticks down. They only have two players back on defense. So they're really banking on a goal here. Not a fast break. And play will resume now. Clock is running. 26 seconds. Back to Evan Amendum. Back to Brianna Kung. Great play getting on the ball by Evan Amendum. Make sure they're keeping possession. 14 seconds left here. Tied 1-1. One, one. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. And that ball goes through. Oh, but it is stopped. Three seconds left here. That will be that time. End of regulation here. It will be a 15-minute overtime. It is 1-1. One, one. And we are back here at the start of overtime in just under two minutes here. As you can see, that Sanford team huddled up, determined to make uh, a win here. And you know, great job with just under five minutes left getting the goal. That's not easy to do. Your spirits start to get uh, down a little bit when time winds down. But Sanford doing a great job uh, staying strong and also keeping friends from scoring at the end of the second there. So we are in overtime. Yeah. Very commendable. Overtime will start with 15 minutes on the clock. Oh. 
The wide to number six, Annie Leo, trying to hit it up the field. Number 13, Brianna Kong, back to Wilmington Friends, number three. A little bit of back and forth possession here. Looks like Friends has the possession now on that one. Great move there by Friends. Number 12 has the ball out there. That will be Sanford possession. Okay, they needed that. Friends was gaining some momentum there. Thirteen minutes left in overtime, and the corner has been awarded to Friends. Let's see if they can make something happen here. Like number three from Wilmington Friends will be taking it this time. That is Katrina Winfield. Been doing a great job offensively running it up. Looked like Brianna got pushed a little bit on that play. Evan Amendum getting the steal. Tell you what, she might rip a shot. That looked like it was off of friends, and it will be Sanford possession. Some arguing with the ref there with number 12. Looks like she's digging out for a card there. And that's a yellow card. I think there was some debate whether or not that was a corner there, but uh, it doesn't look like it will be called. It will be friend's possession here. That was a nice hit by number two. Number 35's been good at running it up the field, but hopefully we can get a defensive stick on that one. Looks like we did. It will be friend's possession by number three here. And Sanford is bunched up defensively here, not letting anything through. They're playing it to the outside here. That will be friend's possession at the top of the circle. Like all of Sanford's players are inside the circle, except for Brianna Kung, they're uh, getting ready to play defensively here. Bit of an unsafe hit there. Looks like that'll be called, and Sanford will be taking the ball out now. Hopefully moving up quickly to the circle and trying to get a Nice in. break for Sanford here. And in comes Allie Colgan, number 26. Out comes Brianna Kung. She's done a phenomenal job this game. Allie Colgan, who scored Sanford's only goal here at the very end of the second half, uh, putting this game into overtime. Not sure where that was headed, but either way, they got it out of their own zone, which there's worse things to have happened. Like Colgan has her stick down. Looks like she's ready for just about anything.
Friends is doing a really good job in this overtime here, playing offensively, but hopefully the tables will turn. Looks like they are. Stanford will take the ball. Looks like big drive up. There we go. Great right to a Friends player, though. Alec Colgan comes running over, but so does Friends. That will be Sanford possession, though. A little confusion there on what happened, but it will be Friends possession now. Looks like number six, Annie Leo, is getting hold of the ball there. Again, off of a Sanford stick and- Nine minutes and 30 seconds left here. And number two will hit it back in, yeah. Charlie's right, time's uh, starting to dwindle here. Great play by Evan Amanda. She's got space, it's a 1v1 here. Looking for a shot. And it almost goes back to Zanette. That's a corner for Sanford. Great job there for the girls out on the Wilmington Friends player. Evan amendum has got some great speed in this game. She really knows how to put the wheels on when she needs to. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left here. Goes out to Evan Amendum, who's taking her time, passes it over to Annie Leo, and that's a goal by number nine, Annie Christopher. And Sanford has won this game. Beautiful shot by Annie Christopher. She's super good at staying on post and was just there to tap the ball in. And the Sanford crowd is going crazy. job by Annie Christopher finishing that shot and Sanford has won this game two to one. Great comeback win for the team and as you can tell everyone over there. On the field we had a great turnout for the student section here. The great job there starting the game off playing really, really defensively and transitioning to a great offensive team and they're doing really well. Still undefeated. This is an exciting game for our first field hockey night game. Yeah, great comeback win by Sanford. All right, so joining us here in the booth is Annie Christopher, a senior, scored the winning goal there. Great job, Annie. What was going through your head? Um, that I needed to shoot and win. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it. Uh, you know, you guys were trailing there. Uh, what were you guys, at, towards the end of the game, what was going through your head? 
Uh, we knew we just had to push through and play our game and calm down. Yeah. Yeah, great job uh, overall, comeback win. Uh, just phenomenal job. You guys are still undefeated. Thank you. Yes, Thank you all for coming to the stream and watching. This is Charlie Sikora and Maggie Ross. Thank you. <laughs>